All right. So another thing you might want to be able to do is to uh, upload files to your class team. So when you go to the files tab uh, across the top here, uh, you can see that there's a folder called class materials. So you can upload things like PowerPoints, uh, Word documents, PDFs, videos uh, into that class materials folder and students will be able to read it but not edit it. So this can be really valuable if you want to share content with your students um, but you don't want them to be able to mess with stuff. Now, if you wanted them to work on an assignment, you can actually do that through the assignments interface which we'll talk about in a little bit. So if I want something to distribute like a worksheet or something, rather than putting it in my class materials folder, I would actually just attach that to an assignment. So this isn't necessarily for documents that are uh, based on assignments, although you could put them here too. Um, this is more for just things for people to reference. A good example of that would be if you had a daily PowerPoint that you had warm-ups in every day. You could keep that PowerPoint in your class materials folder and then you could just work on it from within Teams. You can actually load up PowerPoint inside of Teams, just all of Office 365 works in here, and just edit that same document so the kids always have access to your latest warm-ups. Um, so that's what you could use Teams uh, file storage for. There's a 15 gigabyte uh, file size limit, so I don't think anyone would run into that unless you're uploading some you know, bootleg video of something, but just be aware of that.